Hey guys, welcome to another tool tutorial. Today we'll be going over the motor tool. So the motor is similar to an axis, but it's powered. So you can choose your forward and your backwards direction. We'll start off with demonstrating the torque. So if I have a torque value like 990, I take this and I place it here. Just make sure it's moving. And I take the same thing and I add a higher torque. As you'll see, the one with the higher torque rotates quite quickly. The one without the higher torque, in fact, it barely rotates at all. So obviously the um, here, the motor strength isn't overcoming the friction of the joint. So there we go, that's a demonstration of the torque. The force limit, this will uh, basically set the breaking point for your, um, this will set the breaking point for your joint. So if you do that and you place it and I'll simply spin it up and I, if I move this, it might make it happen. Oh, well, it stays on pretty well, but I can, as you can see, I can pull it apart. So there we go. That's uh, the hinge friction demonstrated the force time. Now this basically tells you how long you can apply the force for. Um, if I set this to zero, then there's no restriction, but if I set it to say 120, actually let's make it like one or something. Set it to one, set the force limit back to zero because I don't want to have this breaking. So when I turn it on, it automatically stops itself. That's all that that does. The no collide, very simple. As you can see, this object can, if I apply enough force to it, it will pass through this object. That won't happen if there's no collide on. Uh, no collide is off, sorry. The toggle essentially just says when you press the on button, it will stay on until you press the button again. So you place it there. I press the on button. Hang on. Press the on button. Well, this actually works quite well with the force time because the force time will turn it off automatically. But um, yeah, if you don't have force time, it will rotate indefinitely. And that's me not touching anything. So I think that's everything. Feel free to mess around with this yourself because obviously there's no better way to learn than to practice with it. And uh, hopefully this was informative. Thank you.